Now when it comes to bizarre games, it doesn't get much more bizarre than this. Now, back in the day when sports games used to get licenses from the players' associations, and I guess they still do, there used to be holdouts for the star players, like Michael Jordan or Wayne Gretzky wouldn't be in the game. Well, Wayne Gretzky made Wayne Gretzky's 3D hockey. Michael Jordan, apparently, uh, decided it was a good idea to make Chaos in the Windy City, a bizarre action platformer where he fights... demons? With basketballs and baseballs. Anyway, let's start. So we can get a, a touch of this weird story. I like... Keep in mind how Michael Jordan says, this is weird, because things are about to get a little bit more weird. Basically, his entire team has been kidnapped by something, we don't know what, but we're going to the holding cell, so apparently he knows exactly where to go right off the bat. Alright, so we're Michael Jordan here, and as you can see, I've got basketballs as a power, so I can throw basketballs, I can slam dunk basketballs, and that's about it. If I press start, I can hear his voice. Time out. And that's a nice touch, you know, back in the day when voices were a little bit rare in games. So, this is where I like to bring up that Michael Jordan was like, wait a minute, something seems off here, this seems a little bit weird. Uh, you can see I get new kinds of basketballs as well. Here's my Hadouken basketball, get some extra points or tokens. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is pretty fucking weird, Michael. In fact, it's very fucking weird. I'm fighting bats and pumpkin-headed basketball-throwing spiders and shit. I don't know. Basically, I'm going through here and I'm unlocking... All of the doors that I can with my key, and you know how much I love key puzzles in games. Ah, oh, he's throwing baseballs now, you know, because Michael Jordan is such a multi-sport athlete, based on his time that he spent with that minor league team. And of course, my health power-up is Gatorade. So let's come down here, and I open this up, and there should be one of my teammates in here. And this thing is hilarious. Thanks for saving me, Michael. The other guys are locked up, too. And then they give me, like, a Bioware-style dialogue tree, so I'm just gonna... No problem. See you later, man. Thanks for showing up. Anyway, now I have the green key, and with the green key, I should be able to do some other stuff, unlock some other doors. But also worth noting, there's all these basketball nets strung all over the place, and if I do a, uh, you know, nice little slam dunk on those, I can sometimes get secret power-ups from them. Let's see, but it's, it's a little bit hard to dunk sometimes. There we go. See, we got tons of gold basketballs there. But anyway, I have this key. Might as well use it on the green slot and turn on this elevator. And with this elevator on, I should be able to unlock some more doors up here. And really, doesn't this game just scream Michael Jordan? Like, you can imagine his agent trying to pitch this to him, or probably some some video game professional trying to pitch this to him. Uh, couldn't I just hold out and get some more money from the NBA Players Association? Yeah, but Michael, you're missing out. We got this huge artistic vision for you, man. It's going to start a new franchise. Chaos in the Windy City. Uh, you're going to... Fight Satan's minions by throwing basketballs at them and do slam dunks on mythical basketball nets located in the ether. Yeah, it's gonna be a pretty good time. And he's like, alright, Gatorade, is it in you? So, you can see there's a secret wall here. That part kept me stuck forever as a kid. Um, unlock some more tokens. I think there's some more secret areas, but let's unlock our teammates first to get some extra basketballs. I really like. And I have to be honest here, I really like this voice sample. Time out. You can imagine that being a major selling point when you were a kid. Oh, but the controls are fucking... A little bit floaty, as you might expect. We are Air Jordan, after all. Uh, I think there's another basketball net in here that we can, uh... We can use. In order to... Oh, no, no basketball net, just some more fireballs. And baby spiders! Michael Jordan fighting robotic baby spiders. Much of the comedy in this game is just... Inherent, let's put it that way. Now, there's another part that kept me kind of strung up as a kid, is that you have to throw basketballs to hit this switch up there. There, to unlock the elevator, get the elevator started. But it's hard to tell because the switch looks so much like it's just an ambient part of the background that, you know, it's a little difficult to tell that it actually has any sort of influence in the game whatsoever. Uh, so there we go with the red key. And if I don't die, I think we're getting pretty close to the end of the level here. And one compliment I actually have to pay towards the game is that, you know, like mechanically, it's fine, I've got invincibility now. Um, it actually is, is not unplayable by any stretch of the imagination. Certainly, uh, I wouldn't classify it as a good game, ever, but uh, it's, it's certainly playable. It's not, not horrible. Alright, so with this door open, we can move on. Let's hit this green switch to see what happens. Oh, you gotta hold the button down. I'm not sure what it does. Oh god, I've hit it like six times now. Have I hit it an odd or even number of times? That's the question. So I'm throwing purple basketballs, I guess. 
Jordan's playing for the Harlem Globetrotters now. <clears throat> oh, Jesus, they exploded! Blue sparks! Oh, I like this, too. Michael Jordan, always a character. This is around the time of Space Jam, so... It would've been cool if they just came out with a Space Jam. Ah, oh, I died! Anyway. I think that's pretty much all there is to say about Michael Jordan Chaos in the Windy City. Kind of a short video, but actually, I don't think this game is that bad. I mean, certainly, it's a little bit insane. And probably people would have just preferred having Michael Jordan in a basketball game because uh, it was always a pain in the ass. He played like NBA Jam and you'd be Scottie Pippen and some other guy that nobody knew. Well, at least I didn't know. As a Canadian adolescent. But anyway, this one is kind of actually playable. I like it a little bit. It's got some charm. As always, thank you guys for watching. If you have suggestions for a Let's Hate, leave it in the comments, and I will see you next time.